everybody, this is Sean of Raw Select Music, and today I want to talk about one of my personal favorite records. This is Cool in the Gang's 1969 self-titled debut. It's just a fantastic instrumental funk and soul record, and I want to let you know why I think it's worth checking out. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I don't really think that Cool in the Gang needs any kind of introduction. Odds are through a commercial TV show or movie. You've heard songs like uh, Celebration, Jungle Boogie, and even to a lesser extent, one of my personal favorite songs from Cool and the Gang's disco era, Ladies Night. So if you're only familiar with Cool and the Gang through those songs, you will find absolutely nothing like that on here, which I'll let you decide if that's a good or a bad thing. Part of the reason I feel like this is an album worth highlighting is it pretty much has everything that I look for in a funk and soul record. It's got big funky drum breaks, some solid bass and guitar work, and lots and lots of horns, which I've always been a big fan of. And if memory serves me right, uh, Cool in the Gang was famous for having one of the biggest horn sections of any funk and soul group at the time. All that being said, there is some fantastic musicianship on here. These guys really know how to play off of each other. They really know how to let certain elements become the focal point of the track, like letting the horns really do most of the talking for one part of the song, or the everybody dropping out so the drums can speak. It's that sort of band dynamic that really makes this such a interesting listen, record to listen to. On top of the fact, it's an instrumental record, but it never feels samey. All the songs feel pretty distinct on here. Some are more up-tempo, some more mid-tempo, some songs are a little bit, uh, a little bit more down-tempo. One of my favorite highlight tracks from this record is Breeze and Soul, which is sort of like a little mini funk and soul epic as it starts off really slow and mellow before rising and becoming this uh, just fantastic funk and soul burner. It, it, it's all of these things that really just make this such a, a fun record to listen to, on top of the fact that it's just funky as hell the entire way through. Even when the tempo does drop down, I would say there is not a moment on this record where it's not funky. And even if that does sound like it could get kind of redundant and a little bit repetitive, it never does. Honestly, if you're looking for a Funk and Soul starter record, I can't recommend this guy enough. It's funky as hell, there isn't a weak song on here, and it's a pretty easy record to get in here. There's nothing about it feels like it goes into out there territory where it might bother some people. And in fact, I think the only reason someone may not like this record is A, it's lack of a vocalist, or B, they have an allergic reaction to horns, and believe it or not, there are actually people like that out there. I don't usually associate with people like that. But anyways, Cool on the Gangs, self-titled debut, highly recommended, one of my personal favorite records. If you've listened to it, let me know what you think of this record down in the comments. Uh, what's another Cool in the Gang record that you like? I've also got, in my collection, Cool in the Gang's Music is the Message, which I'd say is a better record for Cool in the Gang completists. This one, on the other hand, uh, Light of Worlds, is one of their most uh, musically adventurous records, and it also has Summer Madness on it. Plus, it also has Fruit Man on it, which anyone who's ever listened to Jay Dilla's Donuts will immediately recognize. So yeah, Cool in the Gang, self-titled debut. All the links for uh, songs will be in my WordPress blog, which you can check down in the description, plus follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Mixcloud. I am in the middle of putting together a new DJ mix, and hopefully I'll have that done. If not by the end of this month, definitely by the end of September. Uh, I actually am planning on doing a video where I talk about why it takes me so long to put together a DJ mix and sort of the process that goes into putting one together. Thanks again for watching. Uh, next record review, I'm still not entirely sure what it's going to be, but that's, uh, I guess, part of the adventure. Thanks.
thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.